Welcome to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host for the most, watch this, one of my subscribers just sent this, murder nears 1600 record, the murder rate in Jamaica is nearing the 1600, 1600, 1600 people murdered in 12 months, murder, hmm, not car accidents, not cancer, not heart attack, not natural causes of death, old age, murders. Alright, check this out. It was predicted by me before the year start from within you know, 2015, 2016. From what was in 2016, I said 20, um, 2017 is going to be worse, right? We're going to have more murders. I don't know why we're still believing in our politicians that control the place because it's not getting any better. Every year it's getting worse, right? Watch this. Jamaica murder rate is nearing 1600 record with five days remaining in 2017. At the point the Gleaner put this out, that was yesterday. So now we are four days nearing 2017. It'll be interesting to see what the murder rate number is at the last day off into the first morning of 2018 all right record shows that 1581 people have been murdered since january 1581 i don't think we're gonna hit 1600 but we're pushing pretty close that's 99 fewer murders than in 2009 which has a record of 1,680 murders. See, this is my problem. They have the nerve to go all the way back to 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and we're going into 18, to go all the way back to eight years ago to find a decent number that can actually beat the number that's going on, which tells me that for the past seven years, we have escalated the murder rate higher than the year before. But, leave it to these people, they will tell you that in, well, that not so bad man, because in a 2009, a 1680 we did have. So now, we're we'll push up on the 1600, we're not even reached 1600 yet, which means things are going, the, the murder rate is going down, we're fixing things. According to reports, St. James continues to lead the tally with 325 murders, following my place Clarendon with 166. West Milan, the Western Parish, followed third Clarendon, followed third behind Clarendon with 147, while St. Catherine, North Division recorded 138 and Western Division 125. Somebody says, stop your friggin' foolishness. St. Catherine is one parish. I mean, no one will come with this North Division and South Division thing and divide up the number of them. St. Catherine is the most murderous parish because if you combine for them number, their number will beat St. James. All right? Now, anyway... Here's what a couple of people had to say. But people, we were supposed to sleep with our doors open, right? When will this master plan be implemented? Statements like these from Jamaican politicians shows just how little respect they have for the collective intelligence of the people. Need I say more? Let me say this to y'all before I close out this video. When Andrew Holness was running for Prime Minister of Jamaica, I say, I remember specifically when he made that statement and I said to myself, that's a damn lie. He is being the puppet master and the people are the puppet. But him have a bigger puppet master and he is also a puppet. Check this out. I saw Andrew Holness come on and did a prayer the other day for Jamaica. And him sit on, stand up there and pray with Jamaica. He's standing beside his wife. His wife is gangster. She ride with him regardless of what. And you need that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways... Imran, him wife, stand up there with him and he was praying for Jamaica and in that prayer, I still have the prayer and I still haven't broken it down for you guys. May I wait for brains for comeback. 
so when she come back and chop up and splice up my editing them for me I can actually do that because I want to break it down specifically in a way watch me in that prior Andrew Holness came before the Jamaican people and apologized to them for failing them now you know Jamaica is a predominantly Christian society everybody ruled by Christianity or majority of them ruled by the religion of Christianity are called Christianity so here's the thing what that religion does is it allows you and this is not an attack on Christianity this is facts what that religion does it allows you to do wrong it allows you room to do wrong yes but it also takes away the responsibility from you because all you have to do is confess publicly and ask God for forgiveness and pray about it and move along and if the victim decide that they want to continue to blame you the perpetrator for doing evil against them then they become the bad ones leave the man alone man and see the man give it over to God already it's something like when lady saw doing a dance on music as far as I've heard me now bring up Marianne Hall name in a no negative way I'm just saying what we have heard is that she backstabbed a lot of people, uh, knocked food out enough people's mouth. It's an aggressive game, that's all it is. And at the end, this is out of Tanya Stevens' mouth. And at the end of the day, she ran to the church. So when everybody was applauding her, Tanya was saying, no, until she come give me a public apology, she can't go on to the church. All she wants to, I still see her in the same light, right? You apologize to your God, you don't apologize, you didn't apologize to me. And even if you did, it's up to me to accept or not accept it. So, and the same thing I see happening in Jamaica, nothing now change. So as we go into 2018, people, happy new years, keeping yourself safe, and God bless on Jamaica. Big up on yourself here, I'm out. Peace.